Hello friends. First, thank you for helping me reach 10,000 subscribers. It really means a lot to the channel and I really appreciate it. Also, keep the technical questions coming. I really enjoy helping the 3D community to learn and grow. Now on to the tutorial. I needed a character to walk up a cave that matched the winding path of the terrain. Therefore, I needed to have a path created that conformed with the topography of the terrain. In 3D Studio Max, there are two ways to do it, and I'm going to show you both. Method 1. First, isolate the terrain by right-clicking and hit Isolate. Now go to the modifier list on the right and click on the Spline tool and select Line. Create your own path by using lots of vertices. The more vertices, the more accurate the path conformed to the terrain will be. Once done, move the spline to the appropriate position and make adjustments to roughly conform to the path you want the spline to follow. Now go to Space Warps on the top right. Select Geometric Deformable. Then click on Conform. Place the Conform icon in the scene. It does not matter where exactly it is placed. Now go to Modify. Under Pick Object, select the terrain mesh you want the spline to conform to. Now click on the spline and go to the top and click on Bind to Space Warp. Click on the spline and drag it to the conform icon. The spline immediately conforms to the terrain mesh. The only problem is at the end as part of the line was off from the mesh. But that's fine as we'll edit the spline further. To enable the spline to be edited, on the modifier list, right click and click Collapse to you'll see the warning message. Click Yes. Now the spline has been changed to an editable spline and you can make additional edits. And the conform icon cannot be deleted. That is one way to make the path. Method two. The second method is to draw the path directly on the mesh. To do that, select the mesh, then go on top where it says Freeform. Select Polydraw, then select Draw on Selection. Then click Spline. By right-clicking and holding, you draw the spline directly on the mesh. Once done, you can simply select the spline and make further edits. In this case, I unhide further parts of the cave and add more curves to the spline to better align with the topography of the interior of the cave. To attach the character, I create a dummy object and attach it to the spline using the path constraint function. Then I attach the character to the dummy. I go into further detail on how to do this in another tutorial, and I place the link in the description below. After many edits to refine the character's walk, here is the final animation. And that's it. I hope you liked this tutorial and please subscribe. It really helps the channel grow and there's more content coming your way.